buy it cheap and safe NBA 2K22 MT at NBA2King.com. You can use code EXCAPAR, that's E X C A P A R, for 5% off your entire purchase. All right, so we are back at it yet again with a, another tier list. This one being on the best power forwards. We've obviously already done the point guards, the shooting guards, and the small forwards. So this one obviously is next in line. And then after we finish all these positions, we will move on to the wonderful best guards tier list. Um, if you guys want to check out any of those other tier lists that we've done, point guards to small forwards, links in the description down below. And we're just going to have a good time with it. If you guys like it, the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you guys are new. And if you guys have any problems with people that maybe I left off, let me know those down in the comments, as well as people that are just too high, too low, and everything in between. So without further Number two. Now let's up right into uh, just ranking everybody where I'll show you guys everybody we have. First off in the hard pass here, make it quick and painless. Boom. Well, we're starting off with our man, Sapphire Robert Ori. And I mean, let's be honest, what does he do aside from shoot? Uh, that literally the main reason that you use Robert Ori cards in general. Like, yeah, he's pretty good at shooting, but like that's literally all he does. And I mean, we got a lot of guys who can spray it a little bit, uh, so I'm not really too excited about him. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. was cool when we the game first started. Actually, one of the better power forwards, I would argue, just can do a little bit of everything. Uh, but at this point, there's really no reason to be throwing him out there. We even have better Sapphire power forward, small forward um, that you can be using right now. Um, was fun day one, but now no, thank you. Lowry marketing for some reason is a card that I see so much when I'm actually playing like limited weekends and stuff like that I do not know why uh, but stop using this card like the dude's main idea is just to be able to shoot the ball And he's really not even good at, at that <laughs> So, you know, um, he can rebound okay But like Lowry's main thing is being a stretch big and I don't really think that he's all that great at being a stretch big um, so in my humble opinion, Larry Markin is just, yeah, he's just not a great card. Uh, Kurt Rambis, I think is one of the cards that you had to use this season to get some XP. Um, and he's just kind of cheeks in my opinion. I'm just not really a fan. Um, if you have fun with this Kurt Rambis, like good for you, but I just think he's supposed to be like a defensive rebounder who's just not really good at that. Um, no, thank you. I'm going to have to pass on my, my, my mans. Uh, next up is Kenyon Martin, who is admittedly a pretty good Sapphire card. Can actually do a little bit of everything, like, stats-wise. Um, badges just aren't there, really, to help him out. But you expect for a Sapphire, something's got to give. And for Kenyon Martin, it was his badges. But he's still a pretty good stats-wise card. Uh, so, you know, go him. Uh, next is my man Jabari Parker, who's basically, like, a Carmelo Anthony. Um, Pink Diamond Carmelo Anthony, but just, like, stripped down a lot of the badges and stuff that makes Carmelo, like, insanely good. Um, and then boom, you have Jabari. And that's just because they kind of share a similar jumper in uh, Jump Shot 55, I think it is, for Jabari, something like that. Uh, but it's okay. Um, I think you could have fun if you're talking about Jabari, like especially offensively, but the dude is just so easy to pop. Uh, next up is my man Derek Jones Jr., who I was going to, you know, put up a little higher on the list, but I mean, just thinking about it, I mean, are you really going to use a guy that undersized as like a primary power forward? Probably not. Is he good as a small forward? Yes, Jump Shot 5 is nice, but I just don't really see a reason to be using him. Um, and same thing with Chris Boucher. Um, I still bring him out sometimes on limited weekends, but he's just really not that good for me anymore. Like, there's just so many better power forwards that you really can be using in the game um, that I don't think Chris Boucher really should be your main man. Uh, but admittedly, I do think he's actually pretty good to play like a small ball or, yeah, I guess it's kind of small ball five um, or a faster five. So, you know, there is that. I do think he has more plays at center than he does as a power forward now, uh, especially because the defense interior is a lot better than the perimeter. Um, and last but not least is my man, Dennis Robin, actually last but least, <laughs> he might be the worst guard on this list. Um, Dennis does two things. He plays really good inside and he gets rebounds. Um, I would hope that your power forward, whatever power forward you're running can do that. Dennis Robin, just, yeah, he's just not a good card. Even if you evoed him up to a ruby, um, it, Loki was a waste of time. I did it too. Yeah, just no really reason to be using him. Uh, that finishes off our hard pass tier. We can move on to the still decent world. Well, I'll just show you guys all these guys again because, I mean, it's the second lowest tier. Uh, we're starting off with my man Pink Diamond Zion, who is an absolute beast when it comes to slashing, playing in the post, and things like that. Uh, but if we're talking about the grand team of power forwards, um, really just ain't it. And my man is very undersized. We play in the four and the five. Like, just, it's not really worth it to be using um, Zion Williamson, especially because he does really have great shooting, playmaking, or even really that great at defense. He's just a good slasher. Uh, next is my man Rui Hachimura. Um, again, another, like, I guess if you want to put it that way, Walmart kind of version of Carmelo Anthony, you know, just a d completely downgraded one and not even like a DBG tactical downgrade, like just a downgrade from the wonderful man that is Carmelo Anthony. Uh, an all right shooter, an all right finisher, all right post guy, just not really a guy that I'm trying to use. Uh, next up, Ruby, Ruby Larry Bird. Actually, not a bad card. I had some some guy piece me, put like 20 on my head in a limited weekend. Granted, it was the only 20 points he scored uh, with this Ruby Larry Bird, but it was pretty nice. 
Um, and that's just because Larry is offensively like different. Um, aside from his like slashing ability, he can only really can take layups, which I mean, yeah, it's fine. Um, you can kind of get over it. But I think as far as rubies that are just really offensive heavy goes, I think um, Larry Bird is one of the better ones. Um, just yeah, we're not really guarding a park car with him. Uh, next up, another all offense, no defense guy is my man Julius Randle, who arguably actually has one of the better jumpers in the game right now. Jump shot 47. I just like it. Um, same as Joel Embiid. Some people may disagree, but I, I quite like the jumper. I think it's fun. Um, and has a bit of a post game, some pretty good finishing, some good rebounding. Just again, as you would expect with the Julius Randle card, the guy's probably not playing too much defense. Uh, next up, my guy Jeff Green has jump shot 50 on the quick timing, which is actually pretty fire. I'm not going to lie, I've been having some fun. Um, using Jeff Green in like limited weekends when he first came out. Um, he's nothing like crazy now, but you still can have some fun with him. Still can do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, because the jumper is on quick, he's actually pretty nasty at just catching the ball and just flinging it at the hoop. So, you know, there's that. Go uh, Jeff Green. Uh, next up is my man Clark Kellogg. Kind of like a jack of all trades, Sapphire, who just doesn't really excel at anything, but it's just doing a little bit of everything. Um, so I have to admit it's still decent here. Uh, Miles Bridges, another undersized guy like Zion Williamson. Granted, he does have better shooting than Zion uh, and a pretty decent jumper at that. Just, again, we're 6'6". We don't only have the greatest of defense and he has the base dribble style. So I really can't take advantage of like uh, matchups against people that are slower than him, uh, which just kind of sucks. Uh, next up is my man, James Worthy, who honestly, the only reason I still see people using him is just to get those switches and like limited and then just pop people in the post. And my God, is he good at that? Like that's just posting up. Um, and doing something like that, he's actually crazy. Now, that's probably more to do with the fact that paint mashing is kind of OP if you have the badges for it. Um, and James Worthy does, so he's pretty nice there. Has jump shot 22, so he can actually shoot from the corners pretty well. Um, and just do kind of that, catch and shoot. Uh, but please don't take any threes off triple with him. It's just, it's not going to work out in your favor the way you think it may. Uh, next up is my man, Bob Pettit, who it may be a little blasphemous. I know DBG was hyping up this card a lot with his like no money spent series was cooking with Bob Pettit. Um, I like him as a stretch five because he can shoot and he can play in the post. He has a bit of finishing as well. Um, but if I'm being honest, the only reason I was really using Pettit when I was using Pettit was because he could shoot. Um, aside from that, like, I guess, <laughs> aside from his ability to shoot, he really doesn't do anything like exceptional. He's just kind of like was there was a free card and could shoot so i used him he's just nothing crazy and last but not least is my man amari sotomayor who's just really is just a slasher um didn't really get badges aside from that he does have a decent jumper in the amari sotomayor jumper but i'm just not really a fan um this may be the worst domination card that we got for the time if i'm being honest like bob Cousy was actually pretty good um was it i think bob pettit was one of the rewards at least at some point guerin was one of the rewards um, TJ Warren, Draymond Green, like all honestly better than this uh, Amari Stoudemire was. I really just don't know what they were thinking because the guy can just rebound and dunk. And that just, yeah, it's, it's, it's not worth using as your power forward at all, really. Uh, and that actually finishes off our still decent tier. And we can move into the pretty damn solid starting with my man, Sean Kemp, who just has the world's most baited jumper. Um, I just don't like it. Um, and I've seen a lot of people that have gone against me with him who consistently try to take threes and just consistently get like, um, a shutdown going for him because it's just not it's just not a good jumper um, Sean Kemp as you would expect really good rebounder insanely good slasher has okay defense when it comes to the paint um, really not the perimeter so much but if you just you know you let him take his threes um, and just kind of make people think that they're open and just absolutely debate them you will win every single game that somebody's using this Sean Kemp card it, it's just it's two ways easy to do uh, next up is my man Paul Millsap who's just a really like fun card to use because he just has all around ability um ball most can shoot threes pretty well with the okay jumper um he can go out there play make a little bit play some good defense finish play a little bit in the post like he's just an all-around good card i think they even gave him like silver quick for a step i like paul Millsap, one of the more stepped on cards in the game because i think he's all around just pretty damn solid uh next up my man lamar odom who is just good because he's kind of like one of those point forward types and i would love like point forwards uh, i like anybody who can play make aside from my point guard when they're on my squad it's just always fun, and he has a pretty decent, um, you know, jumper out there. I think it. I think they gave him the Amari Sotomayor jumper, if I'm not mistaken. I think. Um, if it's not, then it's Lamarcus Aldridge, and I still don't mind the Lamarcus Aldridge. I know some people absolutely hate it, but uh, I'm on the club. But I say, yeah, it's not too bad. And the fact that uh, he can play, make a little bit, finish pretty well. You know, I'm gonna give him Lamar Odom some dubs. Uh, next up is the defensive GOAT power forward for like a good two months um, is Josh Smith. And even as center, a lot of people, including myself, ran this Josh Smith as like a small ball center for like well over two months um, since the Dunks Tober set came out. 
Um, I only recently, like two, three weeks ago, decided to finally not run at Josh Smith. Um, and it was just, it was a fun time, man. Josh Smith has had some of the best events you could find. Um, still has an okay playmaker. His finishing was great as well, because obviously that's what Josh Smith was kind of known for, was dunking over everybody. Um, and to mix that with the fact that he had the Brook Lopez base, which is a really good jumper, just made him one of the better all-around cards in the game, especially as like just a small ball center. It was just, it, dude, it was a good time running Josh Smith. Uh, next up is my man Jay Crowder's got that James Harden base and it's just a beautiful 3 and D kind of forward um, I pref definitely prefer him as a small forward, but I just think he's all around great um, I just love what he can do. It's just catch and shoot threes playing some good defense. So I just I like it uh, Next up is my man Amethyst Draymond Green obviously from Domination. This card is just great um, Now I will say Draymond is just one of those guys who just has that like it factor on defense in 2k There's nothing really to like say why he feels better on defense, but he just does um, if that makes sense to anybody who's used Draymond. I mean, if you've used Draymond, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but Draymond does have jump shot 12. It's a little bit slow, a little bit baited. So you do have to, you know, pick your poison a little bit. Um, it isn't the greatest of finishers, but he can be a good shooter, a good defender. And he play makes really well as like a power forward and stretch five uh, or small ball five, which I just, again, I really like. Anybody that can play make aside from my PG, they get a W in my book. Uh, next up is my man DeMontis Sabonis, who is again another one of those pretty good at damn everything like as the power forward center. Um, the only reason I don't love him is he's a clunky four, um, plays better as a five, and jump shot 10 is again a very, very beta jumper. It's the reason I'm not a big fan of Penny Hardaway. I just think that jumper is kind of trash unless you give it that like quick or very quick timing. Um, I think a later on DeMontis Sabonis card will be good, like just as good as that diamond was when we first got him um, last year. That card was just an absolute demon, uh, but right now it's just a good all around four. Uh, next up is my man Turk Nowitzki, the German Jesus, who is essentially uh, meant to be like a really overpowered stretch four and post guy. And I will say, as a post guy, this guy's crazy. Um, it's just a demon of going into the post and doing whatever the hell he wants down there. Dirk is amazing. But when it comes to the shooting part, although he has some of the best Hall of Fame badges in the game, he just has too slow of a jumper to really capitalize on anything. It is extremely easy to bait like a jumper out of this Dirk um, and just get an easy contest out of it. Um, so, well, I think Dirk is amazing. A really fun card to use. You really have to be open in order to take shots with him. I just don't think that's what you're looking for when you're using a power forward. Um, it's just not too much fun. Uh, using Derek. So it, it sucks because he needs at least a quick timing uh, to really make it great, which kind of sucks. But I do love Derek cards. Uh, next up is my man, Dennis Rodman, who got a lucky glitch on shooting. And it just made him great. I mean, Dennis Rodman traditionally is always one of the better defenders in the game. Um, and now this one could also shoot and finish actually pretty well. I'll give him that. Um, it was a pretty fun card. It wasn't as good as some people were saying. Some people were talking about him like he was the best power forward to ever like touch 2K. Um, I don't really think they could go that far. But he was still a really good uh, power forward. I think he's moved down for Baby Demon to pretty damn solid. Um, because that jumper is very, very baited. But if you get it down, you can be money with it. Uh, next up is my man David West, jump shot 40 and just an all around really good card. He can shoot it a bit, he can play make, he can play some defense um, inside, not really on the perimeter, so watch that. Um, can shoot it with a nice jumper, uh, we talked about it, jump shot 40, and he's just, he's all around good, man. I just like this David West card. Um, I decided to pull a few packs to try um, to get Opal Curry or LeBron with some MT, and you know, yo, know, it kind of worked out in my favor a little bit, because I did get David West, actually two of them go up in like, you know, five, six packs trying to get something was nothing more to my favor. Uh, but I've used this David West a few times and I can't say he's definitely better than Superboy giving him credit for. Uh, next up is a card who I've seen like four or five times out of the Triple Threat Vault. And it, it, you know what, I'll take it just because I'm building up um, that collection of original owner diamonds. And it is my man Aaron Gordon, just a fun card. I love Aaron Gordon's jumper. I don't know what it is, but it's just one of those jumpers that I just, I don't, I don't miss with it. I, I don't know, but I just don't miss with it. Uh, and it's just really fun to use. And on top of that, Gordon is one of the best slashers and one of the best all-around defenders in the game. He can guard literally one through five. Um, I just really like it. People just don't expect this Gordon to be as good as he is. And again, I think he's just one of the more slept on cards in the game because he's Aaron Gordon. And I don't know, people just aren't too hyped about him. But trust, dude's a demon. And uh, last but not least is my man Robert Covington. Just a pure 3 and D card when you get him up to this Amethyst. He can just shoot a bunch of threes, play a bunch of defense. He can even finish pretty well too, which... I don't know, I just wasn't expecting out of his card whenever he got that Evo up, but he's just, he's a fun card, man. <laughs> Robert Covington is great. 
Uh, and that finishes off our pretty damn solid tier, obviously, since it's all the way full. And we can start off the baby demons with my man, Larry Bird, Mr. Buckets himself. Now, Larry Bird um, isn't going to be dunking everybody. He has like a 45 in both standing and driving dunks. So, you know, that's, that's not really going to be happening. Uh, but aside from that, Bird is going to be one of the best pure shooters in the game, whether it be off dribble, catch and shoot, anything like that. The dude's got buckets, has a post game, has a good layup, and actually has pretty decent defense. I use this guy, you know, get his XP, whatever. And he was actually damn fun and damn good people sleep on him especially if you do like you know the whole catch and shoot cheese you try to just you know make the air drop a little bit check it to larry no matter the contest the dude still is most likely gonna hit the shot which is just you know annoying to go against at the very least um so you know what lay bird can get his flowers today uh next up is my man sapphire jonathan isaac i've seen some people say that he's like an in the demon tier no i'm one of the biggest jonathan isaac fans like that's out there especially of this sapphire um he doesn't have the badges to really back it up now uh, my favorite way to play this Jonathan Isaac is to take him and batch him up to play the power forward perfectly um, because he's missing like a rim protector and a brick wall. So I would say you add those two badges to your Jonathan Isaac and then the dude becomes an absolute menace um, at the power forward. Uh, but the reason we all love Jonathan Isaac, he has jump shot 70 on quick. So he just has a really fast, really easy to time jumper um, that most people can very easily get down, which just makes it um really good to use all around and then it's just one of the best most versatile defenders in the game can guard one through five with ease um which is really fun even has a bit of slashing and a bit of playmaking too like all around he's the best sapphire in the game and it's not even close uh next up is my man john collins an offensive demon when you have a 95 standing and driving dunk you got a place in my squad um, and then on top of that the kobe bryant base is just absolutely money um the only thing that's tough about john collins is that he doesn't have great defense but you can add most of the badges that you would want to um to really you know boost up his defense and make him better than maybe he should be um and i've done it and my john collins is just an absolute or my friend's done it and i've played with his john collins and he's an absolute demon i've done everything but give him clamps and it's just a fun time dude is he's a menace uh next up is my man evan mobley who i'm currently actually using um to just finish up some of these score points assists you know rebounds blocks you we have to do with like the tis of season xp and the dude is just great this evan mobley comes with some of the best all-around defense in the game even on the perimeter as a power forward as a great easy to time jumper although it is more of a medium speed one so he can shoot great he can finish amazing he can even play make a little bit and i think comes with quick first step if i'm not mistaken uh which is just crazy like this Evan Mobley, I think when it comes to Amethyst, may actually be the best in the game, especially when it comes to being a power forward. Like, Evan Mobley, just all around great. And if he had a few more badges, a few more stats here and there, I actually would have thrown him in the Demon Tier. Like, he's that good. Uh, next up is my man Diamond Draymond Green, who's currently my starting power forward. If I didn't have Draymond, it actually would have been Evan Mobley, um, if that gives you a, I don't know, indication of just... How great it is and that's just because um draymond just has some slightly better hall of fame badges than defense but the thing that you'll get with draymond is that his defense is amazing his playmaking as a four is great his shooting pretty damn solid actually slept on underrated as a shooter but the thing that sucks about this draymond green is i get so consistently blocked and just shut down in the post um that it can be a little bit frustrating at times i'm not gonna lie um so well draymond i think is a better you know defender playmaker things like that than mobley um i would give mobley obviously the dubs when it comes to offense because yeah i do the amount of times i've been blocked with draymond it, it's a little too many to count to be honest it's it's quite frustrating but draymond still is honestly one of the best defenders that i've ever used in a 2k game so you gotta love it uh next up is my man cliff robinson who i am slowly working up towards it's a lot of wins and triple threat when you can just move them up straight um but i will say this Cliff Robinson is going to be one of the best defenders you could use once you actually get up there. Dude comes a Hall of Fame interceptor, so you know he's going to be an absolute dub. Um, as a decent jumper in set shot three, it's not amazing, but for a center power forward kind of guy, it'll be okay. And Cliff Robinson just has that crazy slashing ability that, I mean, come on. It, it's it's going to be fun. It's going to be nice to use. And you just, you like to see it on a card. Like, all around, Cliff Robinson, dude's a demon. Uh, next up is my man Chris Webber, who was one of the like OG GOAT power forwards that we got in my team, and that's just because Chris Webber has jump shot 22, and can just be one of those dudes who just gets buckets for you, <laughs> just gets buckets. Um, he's essentially like a point power forward center, which is really fun, can be a stretch five for you as well, just jump shot 22 is nice, um, just doesn't really have the credits to defense, can play good interior, but not really on the perimeter, um, so there's that. Uh, next up, my man Calvin Nat, who is just like a beast for like no reason. Um, haven't seen him at all on the Triple Threat Online boards. 
um, when he was out here. So, you know, that's a dub. Uh, but Calvin Nat is six foot six, so he's a bit undersized, but he can play the small forward. So I'm going to give him some dubs for that. Um, just has a good jumper, some all around really good defense. He can finish well. Like, I just, dude, I, I like Calvin Nat. If he was like two inches taller, um, I feel like I could throw him into the demons here. Uh, being that undersized at the power forward really only means that you can play small forward. So I didn't knock him down one tier. Uh, next up, Blake Griffin. Now, I saw some people slandering Blake on the last on the gameplay video that I did of him, and I don't really know why, because Blake is kind of a beast. Um, obviously, Blake Griffin does have a bit of a beta jumper. It is a little slow, uh, but I personally still really like it, and I still think that it's pretty easy to time myself. Um, I haven't really ran into many problems with it, so that's just, I don't know, my opinion. I think it's nice. It's consistent. And then, as you would expect with a Blake Griffin card, the dude's one of the best slashers in the game, especially as a power forward. Like, he has, I think, a 98 um, driving dunk and a 99 standing, or you can flip those around. One of them's 98, one of them's 99. Um, and the thing that you will have with Blake is pretty bad defense, but good rebounding and just insane at slashing. But I think this one actually can shoot damn well, too, because I like the jumper. Uh, so all around, Blake at least is a baby demon. I just don't think he has the defense to be up in the demons. Uh, next up is my man Anthony Davis. Um, Davis, again, one of those OG power forwards that we got this year who was really, really good. Um, just kind of getting a bit outdated. His jumper is nice. His defense is good. His playmaking's all right. His shooting's pretty good. His finishing's nice. He's just, you know, missing a few things here and there to really compete with the demons. Uh, next up is my guy Andre Karolinko. Jump shot 29 and some of the best defense you could possibly have on a court. Makes this guy just a god. Um, like, seriously. Honestly, one of the most frustrating cards you could go against uh, when it comes to just pure shutting you down everywhere on the court uh next up is my man nicholas batum i've said quite a few times that i love when guys can kind of play make when they aren't you know my point guard and nicholas batum is exactly that just a jack of all trades guy especially when it comes to just defense and playmaking six foot nine has a massive like seven foot wingspan and just really shuts everything down um, i love you know using and hate going against this nicholas batum just just a god he can slash he can play make he can shoot he can play defense all around one through four really um, just a really really good guard and at times can guard fives especially if they're on in small wall um, and that actually wraps up the baby team too look at that it's all full, which means we can start off with the Demons, which has my man Tim Duncan. Now, I expect to maybe get a little bit of hate for this Tim Duncan one just because traditionally Duncan cards are pretty hated um, in 2K, and I get it. You know, Tim Duncan doesn't have a great jumper usually, but I really don't mind it, and Tim Duncan's defense is just next level. Um, I picked up this Tim Duncan, and dude, it is different what this guy can do on defense um i've just i haven't had a more frustrating card guarding anybody who was playing the center than this tim duncan like kevin garnett was frustrating you know paul silas is frustrating as a forward andre canlinko is frustrating but tim duncan is just different and then on top of that has some of the best finishing post game you can find in the game can even play make well too it, yeah tim duncan's up there with the best of the best uh, next up is my man Rudy Gay. If you are at a power forward, small forward like disadvantage, pick up this Rudy Gay and you will have literally no problems in your life. Um, the Rudy Gay jumper is just so smooth, so consistent, so clean, and it's just it's a um, it's crazy that this guy's below 100k. Uh, also, Rudy Gay I think is 6'8, but just has one of those player builds that actually makes him look like 6'10, 6'11, like a similar player build to Giannis. Uh, which is just, it, it shouldn't be allowed, but it's in the game, so I'm going to abuse it. Has a great wingspan as well. The dude is one of the best slashers I've used, and for some reason, they decided to give him gold with clamps so he can play great on the perimeter as well, uh, which is just kind of unreal. Like, this Rudy Gay is one of the best all-around cards in the game. Arguably, you could say he's a top three to five small forward really in the game if you're running them there. The dude is seriously that good. Uh, next up is my man, Paul Silas, who we just love because that defense is different. I mean, Paul Silas, Hall of Fame Interceptor, that's what you got to love. And I think he has Intimidator as well, which is just godly. Uh, has the Draymond Green jumper, which is great. Um, it can finish really well. Play make pretty high, right? I just obviously love him because I just really like defensive cards this year. Uh, next up is my man, Kevin Garnett, another defensive card, but personally one that I wasn't really a massive fan of, but I've gone against and people have killed me with him and a lot of people do like. Um, the reason I don't like this Kevin Garnett is I just find his jumper way too baited. I think it's just really easy to contest him. Uh, but in saying that, that also means that it's going to be pretty easy to time. Um, so, you know, it, there's positives and minus to everything. He's also a good playmaker. He's a good post guy. Um, but you love Kevin Garnett because he's just one of the most versatile defenders in the game. You can guard one through five and just be great at it. Next up, another 1-5 through five defender, 
Jaron Jackson Jr., but that's only if you had clamps to him, I would put him in this demon tear. Um, he's got a great jumper, which I think is easy to time. Again, it's one of those, you know, slightly slower medium speed jumpers because, you know, he's a center, that's how they nerf him. Um, but once you add a clamps on to this Jaron Jackson Jr., he now becomes one of the best, most versatile defenders in the game. He can literally just switch out onto point guards and guard them perfectly fine. Then on top of that, he's got post game, he's got good shooting, he's got good literally everything. He's just honestly only missing clamps, um, in my opinion. Uh, next up is Giannis. I mean, I don't really feel like I have to explain this one too much. I mean, it, 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 it's Giannis. The NBA 75 anniversary one. You can ex even pick up some badged up ones with like 20 Hall of Fame badges that go crazy. The guy's a, one of the best power forwards in the game, period. And last but not least, Dolph Shays. I go in between if I think Dolph Shays is still on the demon or the baby demon. But I just ran out of room in the baby demon, so I threw him up uh, so I could fit uh, Batum in the baby demon tier, if I'm being honest. Uh, but the reason I love Dolph Shays is he seriously has the fastest jumper that I've used in my team right now next to Trey Young, and that's base 38 on Quick. Uh, Dolph Shays is just one of the p best pure offensive scorers in the game and has some crazy lockdown um, inside defense, but just is a little bit lacking on the perimeter. But Dolph Shays, the dude's a god. Like, the dude's a god, so I'm throwing him at the demon. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the tier list down in the comment section below. Again, if you guys want to check out any other ones, the point guard, shooting guard, small forward, those will all be linked in the description down below. If you guys think I put some guys up too high, let me know. Too low, but let me know. If you think I missed somebody entirely who is just blasphemous, should be on the list. Let me know those down in the comment section below too. And subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. We are on that road to 15k subscribers. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.